Oh shit. Let's not go there just yet. Fine. Actually, wait, there's goo on the wall. Yeah. Let's also map this out, I guess. There's the switch. We're going somewhere now. What was that sound? I thought we mapped it out. Let's go find what else there is here. A blue jewel. I'm actually getting curious about these items we're getting. Swift blue gem. You cannot sense any magical power within it. And one of the public parts that we got right now, an attack pact. What, well, 15 more attack? Oh shit, nice. Something saw me. There you are. Battle start! Give him what for! There! I see it! There you go. Victory! I'm even more charming now! Alright, uh, on the map. We should be able to open some of the other doors now. Or that might actually not even be for this area. There is one place I didn't check, though. Shit! May the stars bless this battle. There! Coming! A stirring victory. Alright, what did the other map have? Much done here, fine butterfly. Nice. And then... Oh, mana! Good shit! And a very big room. Something saw me. There you are. May the stars bless this battle. A single thing of you. Uh! That bell can well fuck fought, someone up. Everyone. Saw another enemy Tell right there immediately. Fight. We can almost outspeed them, but I'm not going to trust it. Invalid. A stirring victory. This whole wall right here is orange. It's really bugging me. I feel like I should do something there. I just... Oh, shit. An unfamiliar artifact. The items you've discovered are exuding faint traces of magic. Maybe best to return to the caravan to report this discovery. But how can I report back to the caravan when I have no way to get back? Game, you taught me so. don't know where else there would be something to explore. Actually, no wait, there's something right here on the... this. May the stars bless this battle. Got it. Yeah. Get fucked. Well fought, everyone. Our stats are higher now. We don't have to fear as much until another Overlord of Onion comes up. But up here on the left, we didn't go here and see this beautiful looking dead end. And then there is nothing else for me to explore here on this floor. I'm actually kind of curious now if it wants me to go back, if only to check the thing or... I already go further. I don't think I have a way to go back yet. Spend save points in the labyrinth. No, I can't do that. Or it seems to be the outer wall. Maybe. I feel like it is, but I'm not sure. Oh shit, attacker pack something else entirely different for them. This will give you wind cutting blade to cut through groups of enemies and a magical shockwave that deals blunt damage. Oh shit. Alright. Oh 
Oh, you're right. It could just be like the like the big square we're fighting in. Gotcha, again. Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Before we explore further, it might be best to report the items you discovered inside the labyrinth. Fine, game. Fine. I need to go back, but let's go back to the under to the lower floor area before exploring stuff. At least first. May the stars bless this battle. Yeah, the E. Actually, you're right. The E's the exit because it's the bucket that we came in on. That sounds strange to say, but yeah. Not gonna take the express elevator down to it. Oh shit! I didn't explore this apparently. Time to fight. Here. Punk. Victory. Basic killer item is 800. I thought I was like expanding something that I shouldn't. Oh shit, enemy right Battle after you? Still not an overlord, so fuck you. A stirring victory. Go down here real quick, just so I can get the other things right here. Because there are some doors here that I could not open. We gotta explore. Really? What other the switch I got? Mm. Actually, wait a second. Wait a fucking second! Orange is the edge of the screen. This looks shockingly close to it, but it's... Something else entirely. Mm. Game, you fucking with me. May the stars bless this battle. That thing's back. Fuck it up. There. There. <laughs> Victory. The one face I haven't explored. Where was that? Oh, all right. See on the top. There you go, leveling up to five. We're getting like only 20 then 10 per HP at least. I'm not sure how we're fucking gonna like max out 800 as a starting item to heal. Where's the Pier Fortress? Uh, Shadow Fireborn? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. And my setting or my group is made the way it is because the chat wanted it so. I let everyone pick whatever class they wanted however they want to make them, including name, star, or stance, and all that stuff. I had no control over it. I'm going with what I got. Huh. If any of them wanted to be a pure, uh, pure fortress, they did not let me get one. That was a fucking critical bell. Victory. This party's future is in their hands, for better or worse. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Wait, shit. And I'm getting a phone call. What is this? One second, guys. All right, that was work calling me about some vacation hours that I'm gonna that I'm now getting. So, woo! That's good to hear. And hey, my man is in league. Full Haiti Jacks, really? Once you find another soul or two, you really should uh, have a Pure Fortress. Super important. 
Shadow Fireborn, I've got another soul right now, so I probably will be making one. It's just a matter that I need to go back and put it, ask the chat, does anyone want to be the next character? And if they want to be a Pure Fortress, I'm getting one. That's kind of just it, though. So we're going to make Rev go without tanks? You, you can, but I don't know. Let's try to get out of here now, because looking at the map... There we go, now it's a straight way to the exit. Oh, except for one guy. Pure Fortress the tank? I think it is, yeah. Lolly armor? You'll see in a second, Darker Cantor. Let's get out of here. Bonus XP! My level 5! Less chances of getting one shot! I was for that 131 HP. Both the soldiers' HP and DP were destroyed by Witch's protection. Successfully gained 1,771 mana, and the bridge re and the brigade received 180 bonus experience. We're doing good. We're doing a raffle again. In a little bit, when I get back to it, the puppet workbench. We have one more puppet that can be done. So, because I am very rash and I like to do things very quickly, and this game likes to fucking mute itself. We're going to go ahead and do another character raffle. If you already won, you're not eligible to do it again. Don't even bother. But if you want to have my party's life in your hands, exclamation mark raffle gets you inside. You have to focus on the character. Weapon, playstyle, everything about it. And hopefully, you'll give me some good stuff. Need an exclamation mark? It does. Exclamation mark raffle specifically. Let's see what I'm gonna get. We get tank or no tank. We'll continue to hit the face or no. No clue. We're gonna hopefully figure it out. Whoever wants to come in next, pick whatever you want. Don't feel obligated to go for anything that people might say I need or not. We can make it work. It's a numbers game. I've broken my head through much more sturdier brick walls. Who knows what can happen? I mean, we fucking beat Pringer X with no one over level 2000. That was actually kind of an achievement right there. And the winner is... Killons! You won! Congratulations! Woo! What do you want? For a small soul, I'm not sure if you've seen them yet, but Killons, here's what you get. You could be an Aster Knight, a Shinobushi, Male or female with different, actually, images as well. Ranging from minimal to something to plot. You can even become the guy from Katanagatari if you wanted. You can become another dancer if we really just want to go bell-pounding action. Become an actual mage that we can use. Which all become ma mass people. You can become the tank. With different levels of hair. Or just different lolly inside a big thing of armor that cannot see the head. Just like... Accentuated armor, and that's it. You can become technically Etna's brother from Disguise D2. Or you can become like I'm a Jennifer, lady from Double May Cry, or the generic princess from Disguise 3. I forget what oh, Sapphire is the name. Yeah, Sapphire. There's a lot you can pick from, different looks for every single one of them. And so far, I don't know if there's, like, a difference between male and female, so it's literally just whatever you want. You want to be another Mad Raptor? Brown-haired male? All right. The brown-haired male raptor. Go for it. What do you want this raptor to be called? A glass cannon mage? Wait, mage? Then do you want to be a, a maze? Or no? Because this guy has a crossbow. This one has a staff for magic stuff. And also a lamp, apparently. I will take the unwanted aggro. <laughs> really? Alright, Killons to confirm. You want to be the raptor or do you want to be the... No. No chain chase skills in the game. That sucks. Yep, we're gonna not get a tank, apparently. Prepare your arts for the pounding. The game has no lube. 
We'll see how badly it goes. Matter for our mage archers. All right, fine. Mage archer guy it is with the name of... Oh, wait. Not that. Sorel. And now let's dive into this fucking rabbit hole. Killons, what do you want your nickname to be if you have one? What do you want your fucking attributes and nature to be? There's a lot here. Do you want to be brave, giving you these attributes? Hot-blooded. Pure. Childlike. Wise. Nihilistic. Reckless. Stickler. Zealous. Pouty. Stubborn. Fickle. Cheerful. Happy. Passionate. Or optimistic. You already said brave. I feel like you already have your character done. Be brave. There you go. Then what about the voice? Hey, you're in my personal space. <laughs> Here I go. Yeah. Hey, you're in my personal space. Let's go. We should hang out sometime. Man, y'all gotta lighten up. You sound like one of the most generic potheads there is. We should hang out sometime. Let's just chillax. Yeah. Wow, cool. That's amazing. There. Wow, cool. That's amazing. Once more. Here. Once more. I think I'm a pretty cool guy, honestly. Surfer bro voice number two. The surfer dude, yes. Fuck it. We should hang out sometime. God damn it. It's the surfer dude that's on pot. And then preferred stack growth. Do you want to be a natural with these kind of stack growths for you? Do you want to be flat? Which is actually still kind of all around aside from DP. Or do you want to be sharp? Min-maxing the fuck out of a lot of things. What do you want, Killons? Natural, flat, or sharp? Sharp? We have a party of sharp members. This is terrifying. Then what about the stance? Oh, we have the souls for another chance. Uh, my shadow fireborn? It's up to the chat, honestly. We can either go standard stance, so it's basically even. You can go sun stance for a better defensive stance with HP and defense increasing, but you're, you'll reduce your magic attack and more enemies will target you. Or do you want Moon Stance? An offensive stance that will boost your strength and magic attack and weapon proficiency, but reduce your con and luck. As well as apparently a minus 40% chance to your fucking HP. Standard is good, thank god. Then your skill selection. This is where shit goes weird. weird. 50% attack for each stack you avoid. Cross attack for increased action speed and hit. And then you get one other skill right now. Do you want Confused Recovery to recover faster from Confused status? Each round of battle will lower your chance of being targeted, improve Mud Resistance, improve Agility, and affects your Avoid and Attack act Speed, or Attack Speed, whatever that is. Then um, uh, Critical Hit Rates, 10% or er, plus 10 and 100% hits. Crossbow Master, don't hit some uh, 10? I don't know if she has it. Oh yeah, they do! 3% chance to hit someone 10 times, or hit the group 10 times. Crossbow Salvo, that... If it works, that's amazing. If it doesn't... It's like we never got it, anyways. Then what's your lucky number, Killons? There's just something, but I don't know what. Lucky number 14, alright. And then, do you have a flavor text at all for me to put in here, or no? Basically never? Hey, Dark! I have rolled a 1% twice in this guy at 3. It can happen. It happened in a row, too. No flavor text. Alright, you're sitting at the default then. And then character is made. <laughs> Can the crossbow circle off itself? Oh god, if it does, that's amazing. 
Let's go ahead and save our mistakes that have been made. Enjoy it all, and then go back to the witch's report. Let's get back to the story. Or is that a tutorial marker? Madam Junior! Madam Junior! Trekkie's back! What? Barely any time has passed. Give me the book. Hmm... Which report is written on a blackened page? I see. While the Tractatus de Monstrum is exploring, its findings are recorded on a blackened page. Good to know. Your progress thus far is impressive, but... These findings suggest that the flow of time is different down there. I don't know what to make of this. Still, it would seem the Labyrinth's reputation is not entirely unearned. And this Tractatus de Monstrum appears to be the genuine article. Good job, Tracti! Looks like you're the real deal! The various items the Tractatus de Monstrum obtained begin to materialize into existence, as if by magic. So these are some of the treasures the Labyrinth contains. These items could not possibly be products of this world. You can tell by looking at them. They look normal to me. How can you tell? If you could see the flow of mana as I can, you'd see that these items are practically overflowing with mana. Wow! Ah, yes. Tracti, I shall open your eyes so that you too may see the magical power these items possess. Dranya places her hand on Tracti and Mummer, the mysterious incantation. It kind of tickles. You will be able to discern the rarity of certain items. Bring any rare items you find to me. Then again, if you had such items when I reviewed your findings, I would have taken them by now. Your will is my will, Tracti. And I assure you, I will put you to work. <laughs> Madam Junia, you called him Tracti. That's my name for him. I came up with it all by myself. Shut up. If you encounter any difficulties during your exploration, report to me and I will repair you as necessary. Huh? Madam Junia, someone's outside. <sighs> Open the door. Yes? Who is it? Please forgive my sudden intrusion. Is this where I might find Great Witch Baba Yaga? Oh? Oh! <clears throat> Indeed, you stand before Great Witch Baba Yaga. And you are? My name is Klaus Carter. I serve the governor of this town. My master has sent me to escort you to his residence, ma'am. His master? Oh, the man who wrote the letter. Damn it. Still, I can't exactly refuse him. I apologize for not visiting sooner. I did not know where your master resides. May I ask you to escort me? Certainly, ma'am. That is why I am here. Please, come with me. Your master is the governor of this town, but is your master also a business owner? Yes, but his shops are in remote parts of town. For this reason, my master's wealth is actually quite modest. Oh, I should not say such things to a guest. This, in fact, is my master's finest shop. I do hope you'll shop here during your stay. I should turn down the volume with this fucking background music a bit. Dronia? Huge even! It's got a bunch of bunch of stuff for sale! My master is just ahead in his study. This way, please. Please wait here. I shall summon the acting governor right away. Acting governor? Yes. Oh, did I neglect to mention that earlier? To my knowledge, this town has never had an official governor. The acting governor is the master of this town. 
Ah, Klaus, you've returned. Have you brought Madame Baba Yaga? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Master Patrone. Great Witch Baba Yaga stands before you. What? Thank you for summoning me. I am Baba Yaga, and this is my apprentice, Luca. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. Y yes like she said, I'm L Luca. I I'm Madame Baba Yaga's apprentice. I read your letter, and I believe I understand the broad strokes of your request. Explore the mysterious labyrinth and bring back rare magical items. That is what you want, yes? V precisely. As a great witch, is it within your power to grant that request? But of course. Why else would I make the perilous trek across the western mountains? Wonderful. <laughs> but I must say, I never expected a famous great witch to be so... I was told you were a powerful witch, so I had imagined you to be an old crone. Forgive my impertinence, but are you really Baba Yaga? Master Patrone, that is a rude question. Powerful witches can use magic to look as young as they please. <laughs> I understand your reservations, but I assure you, I am the real Baba Yaga. Once I deliver the results of my exploration, that should ease any doubts you may have. However, I would prefer that you address me by my alias, Dronia. People would panic if they learned a witch was among them. My true identity must be kept secret. Perhaps you're right. Anti-witch bigotry still runs deep here. Now then, have you seen the Well of Kalaza? Yes. In fact, I sent an underling down there earlier to assess the situation. I see. The people know to avoid that place. It would be problematic if someone saw you. 568 people are recorded as having died exploring the labyrinth. That count may actually be ten times higher. Those who have returned alive number fewer than that's because they ran away, and those cowards would just ramble on about onions, fishing, dead flesh, or some giant woman in a swamp. <sighs> Best not to concern ourselves with the ravings of madmen. The only man to reach the bottom of the labyrinth learned a secret so terrible, it compelled him to write a book. You speak of the Tractatus de Monstrum. So, you know... Uh, do, you, do you happen to have the Tractatus de Monstrum? Unfortunately, no. However, I'm certain that it can be found in the labyrinth. You just let Baba Yaga worry about that. Ah, yes. I also found a very interesting item. Dronya delicately takes the acting governor's hand into her own and places a small yellow box in his palm. I do not know if this has any monetary value, but nonetheless, I hope you will accept this gift. Oh, you already found something. I knew I made the right choice in seeking your aid, great witch. The acting governor holds the box to his ear and begins to shake it. Hmm. noises? Uh, please, handle that with care. The contents are a mystery even to me. I advise against being too rough with it. Oh, I see. Klaus, put this somewhere safe. Understood. By the way, we passed rows of shops on our way here. Do you own and operate those businesses as well? Oh, well, that's actually my primary trade. I was once a merchant, but I became the acting 
governor after the former governor mysteriously vanished. Yes, Acton. I see. Could I trouble you to exchange currency? I didn't fully prepare before coming here. Of course! You won't find a better exchange rate for Ciel Silver Coins than my shops. Ciel Silver Coins? I've never heard of that currency before. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of course you haven't. This is a remote town, after all. Then, how much can I get in exchange for 300 Halt's Kingdom gold coins? Halt's Kingdom gold coins? I've never heard of that currency. Let me see. Hmm. This gold appears to be high quality. I'd say they're worth about 1,000 CL silver coins. <laughs> Surely you jest. This is the official currency of the Halt's Kingdom. It must be worth at least 6,000. Well, be that as it may, this is a remote town, and the Halt's Kingdom has no jurisdiction here. Stubborn oaf. I understand. Then will you allow me to open a theater in town? I would do so at my caravan near the well. I can confirm that Baba Yaga, I mean, Madame Dronya, has in fact parked her caravan there. My, I, I cannot let that stand. Approaching the well is forbidden. I shall have it removed at once. <coughs> Pardon me, uh, Klaus. May I have a glass of water? My throat is parched from my long journey. Yes, of course. I will bring it right away. Just a moment. Klaus briskly turned on his heel, then left the room. And Dark, I know. I said I was going to do that earlier, but the cutscene is still going and I can't stop it. Ah. Now where was I? Jonah raises her hand and her eyes glow an eerie crimson. Acting Governor Patron, will you allow me to open a theater in town? I would do so at my caravan near the well. Patron's eyes flutter, unable to maintain their focus. Of course, you cannot live among us as a witch. Your cover story would be that you are a traveling performer. Very well. I will authorize you to open and operate your theater near the well. I will fulfill your request and leave refrain before the conquer trees bloom. Thus, it would be prudent if I could avoid paying taxes. Really? Your shop will purchase anything I find in the labyrinth, regardless of market value. And you will stable my horse as well. God damn it. Now, as far as exchanging currency is concerned, does 10,000 CL silver coins sound fair to you? Well, <clears throat> though I have every intention of supporting your expedition, that amount seems... The light in Patron's eyes seems to seems to dim as Dorian's eyes burn brighter. Deal. My shop will buy the items you find underground, and you will receive ten thousand silver coin up front. Thank you. You are a tough but fair negotiator. Also. Also. I will pay a high price for any amazing magic items you find. I understand. Though this arrangement is but temporary, I look forward to doing business with you. Patron comes to his senses. He looks around in wide-eyed bewilderment, unable to process what has just transpired. Uh huh? Madame Dronya? Your water, as requested. 
Ah, and Master Patrone, your dinner is prepared. Oh, right. Forgive me, Madam Gronia. I feel lightheaded and would very much like to sit down. This town has rules that I have yet to explain to you. Perhaps we can discuss them over dinner. Come, let us continue our conversation. Clutching his head, Patron staggers away. Madam Dronya, may I escort you to the dining room? Unfortunately, I must take my leave. I still have much left to do. Then I will come for you tomorrow to stable your horse and finalize the currency exchange. <laughs> Wait. There is one rule you must observe if you intend to stay in this town. When the evening bell rings three times, lock your doors and do not open them until morning. Duly noted. Good night. Let's go, Luca. Y yes, ma'am. Good night, mister. Obtain the Tractite skill Clairvoyance 1. Obtain the Tractite skill Visibility 1. You can now see the rarity of items that contain magical power. Pretty, and oh shit! Someone... I think that's the follow alert, right? And this thing all taps, or complains when I all tap so much. I'm sorry, but Kai Moore 22, thanks for following. You're awesome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. We can now go to the market, and the witch petition has something new for us. New witch petition's been added. Find more items. Learn the tactic skill Treasure Hunter. You'll be able to see items shining on the ground inside the labyrinth. That sounds really good and inexpensive, actually. And I have nothing else I really want to spend it on, so... Sure. We got Treasure Hunter. Woo! And what's the market? This is the only, ma this is the only major market in Refrain, but it stocks many items for your purchase. Its inventory will change every so often, so make sure to visit regularly. Here you can sell the items you find in the labyrinth for silver coins. This is the only way to make money, so make sure to bring back profitable items to sell. Weapons tend to not fetch a high price uh, due to low demand, but there might be other uses for them. We now have this thing. Jitterbugs have to be bought in a fair amount, I am assuming. Because I'm going to fuck up no matter what. 2,000 HP. Fucking how much? 800 is more than enough for all my Kyger characters right now. I don't need a damn thing else from that. Heals poison. Heals confused. Heals abyss. Heals stench. What the hell is that for? And then junk parts to repair. I'm a level 1 to 9 item. Or uh, puppets. I'll get 3 or 4 right now just because... Same with that. Just at the base right now. For that, I think we're fine. Anything I could sell that's really worth something? Not a damn thing! Apparently, these things, though, are something? I'm wondering if, like, these are required in, like, um, uh, do I need to investigate these and then they'll become something more worthwhile? Or just, they're something that can be sold? It says valuable if you think that I have to sell for something eventually, but I'm just not sure how right now. I don't have any more souls, so I can't do anything else for another character. Get them do not sell. Ah, they're a key item. Alright. Let's actually go here for the brigade formation, because I have another one I can use, so let's go for the attacker. Right there. Then one person, the new one, Sorel. There you go. And lose the body part. Then I might as well have them just for the oh, what's it called security. Fucking three rear guards. How poorly of a decision can I make? 